is continuation of uh, mapping iron ore deposits with band ratio and principal component analysis in INVI software using uh, Aster and Sentinel2 data. So in previous video, we have used band ratios of both sensors to map hematite distribution. So today we will dive into principal component analysis. How can we generate and interpret principal component analysis for both of data sets? So first thing uh, is to load your surface reflectance data. If you do not have surface reflectance data and didn't know how to process, so you can see my previous video. So go to file and load your, your data. So I have already loaded both of, both of them. So after that, here is a toolbox, Sentinel toolbox to search uh, built-in algorithms in INV software. So write PCA here and okay here type pca and search so three options will come so uh, from three options i will select forward pca rotation new statistics because i am uh, generating pca for first time uh, for this data so if there is a data that has been generated before uh, pca transformer you can use the first one but I, my data is surface reflectance, not uh, PCA generator, so I will use new statistics. Okay, then... Uh, okay. Uh, Aster. Okay, so in, in our PCA generation or rotation, we have to select bands that have information about our our target okay our target is hematite that is iron ore deposit uh, particularly ferric oxide so we have to subset spectral bands that have absorption high absorption and high reflection wavelengths of depending on uh, reflection and absorption per characteristics of uh, target hematite mineral that means so special subset we can use uh, uh, our region of interest okay so and spectral subset as you know uh, band one of aster is blue band and band two is red so these two bands are absorption and reflecting bands of iron ore deposits so I will select first four bands of Aster. Okay. Then click OK. Then here, uh, PCA generation gives you two file, uh, two files. The first one is PCA stat file. Okay. Statistics file and output PCA image. The second one is output PCA image. So choose your location where you want to uh, save the, uh, your your data as there PCA okay so a uh, start okay start file second one is uh, as there PCA image okay so click OK okay after selecting your folder and name for your start and pca image then click ok Yes, uh, processing has been done. So uh, let's close and do the same for Sentinel-2. Sentinel-2 special subset, subset your area of, depending on your area of interest. And spectral subset here, I will select depending on 
absorption and reflection characteristics of my target iron mineral so band 2 is blue band band 4 uh, that's analogous to aster uh, band 2 and band 1 and also uh, band 7 okay so band 7 and band 8a okay so click okay then uh, similarly choose sentinel pca start okay and uh, pca sentinel image give the name sentinel to pca that's it so click ok So also uh, PCA generation for Sentinel-2 has been done. So to choose, we have here data manager. Okay. Uh, we will load PCA, Aster PCA. Okay. And uh, Sentinel-2 PCA. There are four bands for each four components in in pca generated so the, the main thing here is how can we select a band that has uh, information about our target iron minerals so it's it depends on eigenvalues okay the statistics file we have uh, given before is going to be evaluated to choose a component to highlight a target so here go to pca i go to uh, toolbox and uh, view start file right view start file okay then go to folder where you have saved your data so, um, aha, uh -huh, uh, repetition. So, aster PCA start file, load that one. So, we will see the contribution of uh, each original band to, to each component of uh, PCA. So, here is eigenvector, okay, eigenvector loadings, okay, this one is band one, this one is. These are uh, principal components. These are bands, okay? Contribution of original bands. So to select which one component uh, highlights our, our target, we will evaluate uh, contribution of each band to, to each component. So the first one uh, has all positive values for all bands in all bands. So even in absorption band of iron and uh, reflection band of iron, it has similar value, nearly similar value. That is positive value. So this 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 component is not used for uh, PCA one is PCA one of Aster is not used for uh, for uh, mapping hematite now. So the second one also has positive values, nearly the same, okay, uh, in each reflexive and absorption band of 
iron so we will leave also second one okay the third one also it is the same okay so we will leave it when we go to band uh, principal four or principal component of a stair that's force component it has high negative values in absorption band and high positive values in reflection band of aster so this band has information about iron minerals so in this case if principal component has higher negative values in absorption band and higher positive values in a reflective band so the target is highlighted in bright pixels the reverse is true if uh, there is high negative value in reflective band and high positive value in absorption band the target is shown in dark pixels so depending on this information from aster pca the force pca component is shows our uh, the first comp uh, the force component shows our target as bright pixels loaded so here as you can see from here so brightest pixels show distribution or presence of hematite or ores in my study area and again the same let's evaluate uh, sentinel 2 pca so i will go to again vector okay as we know uh, band 2 is blue band band 4 is uh, red band in sentinel 2 sensor uh, so so we will evaluate uh, especially these two bands okay so the first component as you can see has negative values for all so this this is not uh, usable for our target it does not uh, detect our target because it has all negative values so we will leave it band second component uh, the same in absorption band and in reflection band it has the same values higher negative values so we will leave this one also the third component okay higher negative values in absorption band and higher positive values in reflection band so this is this component detects presence of iron deposit as bright pixels so in sentinel 2 uh, i will load pca3 band 3 so in this case hematite is seen as bright pixels okay so when we see correlation between both of them okay uh, sentinel 2 has good uh, in in delineating hematite or deposits so this is about how to map uh, distribution of uh, iron or deposits especially hematite using principal component analysis so uh, thanks for watching subscribe to my channel bye